this is AC Starlord 29. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see here, I've been doing a Batman movie marathon. The last one I did was the Lego Batman. I know. What does that have to do with with uh, Ron Pattinson's Batman? That we're celebrating. Nothing. But remember how I'm talking about every other Batman movie that's existed from live action to animation to whatever even. Uh, the 60s Batman with um, with Adam West. So this one is with Val Kilmer. Um, and uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey. You have an all-star cast already. You have Val Kilmer as Batman. You can never give that away with his little bat nipple suit. I know the bat nipples only come to the next movie, which is... Batman and Robin, but we'll get into that with Batman and Robin. Um, but you know it's a little bat nipples on this. And basically, I recently watched this movie, so I, I remember this one by heart. Basically, you have Val Kilmer as our Batman leading after Batman and Batman Returns because, well, I don't... Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton didn't like the direction of what the du new director was doing with this movie. But this one's a direct sequel to Batman and Batman Returns. But in this movie, you see Tommy Lee Jones being Two-Faced in the very beginning, doing crime speed. And then you see Batman jump into action after him and then you also see him as Val Kilmer Val Kilmer you see him as Bruce Wayne talking to all uh, talk, uh, in this company talking to all his employees especially when he meets Edward Migwa Edward Migwa Jim Carrey makes weird crazy inventions he wants his crazy inventions all over the world that's uh, him talking to Bruce Wayne he thought hey maybe if I talk to Bruce Wayne this will get out there well it didn't so, obviously, of course, he kills his boss, like, uh, <laughs> like most villains do, and on the other hand, you have Tommy Lee Jones trying to lock Batman in a vault, trying to save some guy in, the, uh, uh, um, in a bank, while well, also Batman is support, um, Batman is supporting this time an actual good fighting style than you know being a have being all shift all all um stiff and all that and then of course you still see uh batman doing his killing thing which you know uh the last two movies i mean the last the last two movies which you see in return uh batman returns of batman michael keaton's batman kills so is val kilmer's Again, again, a direct sequel. Then, of course, as you see Edward Mingma do that, again, Two-Face does a cr another wants to do another crime. They were, Bruce Wayne's trying to celebrate, I mean, trying to not celebrate, I mean, enjoy the circus with the flying Graysons. And then, of course, again, Two-Face comes along and ruins that and kills um, Grace, uh, Dick Grayson's mom and dad part of the flying graysons and of course batman val kilmer aka val kilmer tries to he sees what happens even dick grayson sees it and he tries to adopt it and basically he says hey i don't want uh dick grayson says i don't want any of this i don't want to be part of your rich mansion family blah 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 i don't want this mansion i don't want to be Rich, I don't want to do all this. this I'm my own, own man. And he's like, well, Bruce Wayne shows up in the garage. Like, hey, there's some motorcycles. If you're into motorcycles, there's all this stuff that it can, and, uh, cars and stuff that can have your expertise of, um, you know, skills to make these things run. And maybe one of these can be yours. Of course, he stays... And, of course, he eats a meal with all of them. And then, you know how 
Batman can't, well, Batman really can't be a father. And they make fun of that Lego Batman, obviously, because Batman runs off and does his thing, fights off crime. Meanwhile, while that's happening, Edward Mingma, after he kills his boss, is upset about all that. Finds a letter on his, uh, on his, uh, uh, on his desk, but mainly he wrote that because that's his plan. And then he teams up, eventually he teams up with no other than Two-Face. Two-Face likes his idea and likes his point of view on things. But in real life, Tommy Lee Jones never liked Jim Carrey, which I have watched this YouTube video of one of the YouTubers breaking down these videos. And it's probably true because Jim Carrey is a little bit out there. But boy, I love that boy, Jim Carrey. Um... But apparently Tommy Lee Jones couldn't stand him in real life. But anyways, for them to work in this movie together, it's very interesting how if Tommy Lee Jones didn't really like Jim Carrey in real life, very interesting they're playing partners in this movie. Anyways, they Two-Face and Riddler work together, which is awesome. And then Riddler, you get the uh, introduction of Riddler after uh, he kills his boss. So it's pretty cool. That there had the chemistry to that, that about that. And then um, Dick Grayson steals the Batmobile. He gets in Crime Alley, which looks fantastic. We see it with the neon lights and all stuff. And again, he gets up uphanded and he sees Batman. Uh, of course, Dick Grayson sees Batman. He's uh, blaming him why you weren't there when my parents died. Blah blah blah. He tries to fight him and really, Bruce Wayne. Again, uh, okay, Batman knows that's Dick Grayson and then. He takes him back home and says, look, I just want revenge on Two-Face. I can care less what you do with uh, Riddler. I want revenge. And a few moments later, he becomes Robin. So that's, of course, in this movie, introduction to Robin in Batman and Robin for Batman and Robin. And, of course, everything goes down how you expected. Batman lets Robin ride with him, of course, obviously, fighting crime. And then you see the chromatic awesomeness with Two-Face and Riddler teaming up. Riddler makes up this device that makes people see their worst fears or anything that's going mentally in their mind, emotional-wise. And then, of course, Two-Face there is just there to help out, but also do his thing. And then the Grayson, aka Robin, get in a fight with Tommy Lee, June, or Tommy Lee Jones, aka Two Face, and they have a fight. But also, Bat, uh, Batman's trying to fight Riddler, what I remember, and they get caught up in that chamber. He kind of gets kind of messed up a little bit. I heard it was also a darker version of this movie. Uh, as I'm <laughs> finishing out this battle scene, there's a darker version of this movie that the director made but they uh didn't release it but hopefully they release it it's kind of like you know we have a, a Zack snyder cut i don't know what the director is in this of this movie's name is or batman forever but apparently there's a darker one and i would love to see that let's release that cut anyways batman kills uh two-face because he doesn't want robin to have blood in his hands and then on top of that Riddler goes crazy. Riddler goes to jail. He gets a therapist that um, was all into Bruce Wayne, uh, all, all about Bruce Wayne, but mainly about Batman. She was mainly more about Batman. She would just say that she was uh, crazy or horny for Batman, not Bruce Wayne. I meant the word. Well, I I meant the right word. Um, yeah, so, but he gets his, ther she, <laughs> Riddler gets her, uh, that therapist, and he says, uh, Batman, um, and the Riddler says, I know everything about Batman, so who's Batman, and he says, uh, Jim Carrey jokingly with him with, a uh, jail, like, a his jail costume, I mean, a suit on, I am Batman, and that's where we end the movie, so, and of course that you know that Riddler's not Batman, but let's just say what if he is? What if he is in the um Robin Pattinson? No, I'm just joking. Robin Pattinson is Batman, but 
We never know. Maybe maybe Ron Pence is a a, a crazy freak that wants to wear a back suit and the real one is the realer. Who knows? I'm just joking. If you like this, put a like, subscribe, um, put a notification. You, you can get put a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, put you know, a comment, but I'm out. Peace out. This has been Batman Forever. Um, the next one might be Batman and Robin. And I need to watch the other two Batman movies. And then I need to watch the Christopher Nolan, uh, Christopher Nolan one. And then you get, you get the, the one that we always know, the one that we've been talking about, Ron Patson. So, yeah. Peace out. See you guys next time.